Hello, anyone who is a fan of Tokyo Drift and considers the roar of the engine to be a treat for the ears will definitely like today's video as I'm going to show the most incredible customized cars. Now, get ready for the main surprise. Every car you will see is a miniature copy of the real one. Honestly, I can hardly call them toys. Well, let's not drag our feet. Subscribe to the channel, like the video, and let's start. And the first in line is this bright babe in its classic racing look. This juicy yellow color as well as its excellent maneuverability catch the eye almost immediately. The design of this model allows it to drift perfectly without losing control. And control is very important when racing at speed. We all know this very well. And this small but nimble car will allow you to perform any pirouettes to change direction without slowing down, literally in a split second. And of course, I just have to mention retro cars in my video. Someone will think this shade is not beautiful, but I really like this dark green color. It matches the body of the car and seems to emphasize this antiquity. By the way, the model is wonderfully designed. I really like its details. All these light bulbs, wheels, and even numbers on the bumpers. It's bad they forgot a salon there. Where will the mini driver sit during the next race? I'm just joking, because you will control this tiny retro beast. See? It will not please you with its super speed, but it will definitely impress you with its maneuverability. As for the next category, I have combined several models at once. They differ in color and in details, but one thing unites them all. It is their stunning look. Retro lovers will be happy again, as these cars are stylized as retro. Their design and colors refer us to the last century and to the atmosphere of disco and vinyl records. These models will obviously not please you with speed, but you can fully enjoy their visual and drifting qualities. You will have time to see every detail while racing, as well as to cope with the controls without any problems. Guys, be sure to write in the comments which of these two models would you prefer, a turquoise or a beige one. I personally vote for a turquoise model. And now we are back to the bright modern models. Sometimes retro really needs a break, doesn't it? I think this Lexus is perfect, even for beginners. It looks easy and pleasant to drive. It handles the turns well and has all the essential qualities for a good race or just for the interesting time pass while controlling it. Driving this bright dreamboat in black and lilac colors around the garage or in the backyard is really worth it. Besides, its bright headlights will help you even if the lighting in the room is not that good. You will not run into obstacles for sure. Well, of course, if you manage to dodge them. This is another super bright model, but this time it's an acid yellow Toyota. This color is so juicy and bright that, despite the dark parts, this bright yellow spot is visible from afar, and various kinds of graffiti and inscriptions on the body only enhance the effect of this brightness. The creak of the small wheels and the rustle of the engine are very loud, so it is unlikely that it will be possible to keep silence during the racing, so it is better to think how not to disturb the family members or neighbors in advance. Well, this black and green beauty is a classic drift car. Its form, model, and even the style of its color look unrealistically cool, but still unusual. Anyway, its matte body looks very stylish, and I'm sure there will be connoisseurs of such a model among my subscribers. I especially like its flashing backlight mounted on the bottom, which switches on during every particularly tight turn. It looks like a lightning bolt is emanating from the car. It seems that soon you will be able to smell the ozone in the air. Today's video just loves plunging us into the past. For example, this model evokes the memories of races of the 2000s. The only thing it has such a bright orange color. Unlike modern models, this one is distinguished by its angular shapes and cool headlights. I wonder if such a car can wink at the audience during its next drift turn. The effect would be just right. Because this model can be easily called flirtatious. In terms of other parameters, it doesn't stand out among others. Its speed and maneuverability are quite ordinary. But thanks to its look, it can provide you with a little time travel as well as a funny pastime. The next one is another Supra. This model is actually the exact opposite of the previous one. If that one was as black as the night, then this one is golden like the sun. And it looks incredible. The golden hue at high speeds looks amazing. And yes, the speed of this model is at its best. It is in no way inferior to the previous one. So, if our potential villain runs away from the Batmobile in this car, it is difficult to say which of them will win. Which would you bet on? Because because I really don't have any idea. Probably the one that makes the first mistake and loses control will fail. 
The next in line is the standard of high-speed classics, which is the BMW. For those who love something familiar to the eye, this is one of the best options. Its laconic grey-blue color meets exactly this criterion of racing and drifting cars. As in the previous model, it is important to appreciate the attention to detail and visuals here because the car looks upscale, almost like the real one. Even the body shines in the light, as if a reducing beam was directed at the car. As for control, it is a little worse. The model does not look as agile and nimble as it could. But I think, with a proper skill, it won't be difficult for a drifting prof to win a race with this BMW. Porsches and legendary cars of other brands can't hold a candle to this inimitable bus, capable of giving odds in drifting to any high-speed passenger car. The most exciting thing that in addition to cool maneuverability, such a large vehicle also accelerates amazingly and keeps this very speed. Well, the way it bypasses the dips is a real top performance. I was watching this video and could not understand how people could even make such a balanced kind of transport. Maybe they should go into full-size car manufacturing and turn the whole industry upside down, huh? Next in line is a snow-white Honda that sends us back to the distant 80s and 90s. Controlling this car evokes nostalgia. You are small and together with your parents. You are going to the countryside for a picnic. But I think your parents hardly did the same pirouettes that this babe can do. And it can do a lot. It looks exactly the same as the original Honda EF9 Civic. I was especially pleased with the freshener in the shape of a Christmas tree attached to the rearview mirror because I really love it when manufacturers pay attention to detail. Besides, the Honda drifts smoothly in particularly tight turns. Although, I personally think that in general, the most important thing is not what kind of car you drive, but how you do it. For example, the author of this video and project shows a real masterclass with the most ordinary homemade product. Of course, I do not lessen the engineer's service, but it is definitely inferior to the previous ones in some features. However, it certainly looks no worse on the road. Despite the typical look of all high-speed models, this deep cherry color of this drift car draws the eye, and the pearl coating seems to give it a special charm. I can actually see how this babe is fitting into another sharp turn and finishing the race as a winner during the last seconds. And although it looks a little less natural than other models in this video, it is in no way inferior in other equally important properties, such as speed and maneuverability, and the creak of its wheels while drifting is literally music to the ears of every lover of drift races. This car combines several characteristics of our previous models at once. It's a Toyota again, but this time, it's the Mark II. Well, it can be the Iron Man reference. What do you think? And again, this is a white retro car, but there's something that hooks me onto it. I mean, these cool golden discs. They match so well, as if they revive it and give it a special charm. But will it succeed in its main goal, which is a cool drift? Yes, it definitely will. You will be surprised by its maneuverability and controllability. So, in addition to the visual aesthetic pleasure, it will also be a pleasure for you to control it. And of course, the creators here did their best to make the details perfect. And there is one more pickup in our video. And again, this Toyota is bright yellow. And not even yellow, it is literally gold. Its color with pearly shades is really golden. But this time, this is not a racing model, but the Tundra. Just look at this powerful body and an intimidating bumper. As for me, I would avoid running into the one like that on the racetrack. And this is the model where manufacturers paid a lot of attention to details. If you ignore the color and dimensions, the Tundra really looks like a real one. Tiny wipers, all these rivets, paintings on the body, and even the wheels are made very similar to real ones. Definitely, this car is worth your attention. Well, where are we without the classics in its most direct sense? Next in line is the silver BMW M3. Of course, its angular body is not the best solution for aerodynamics, but don't forget it is a classic, so we will have to accept it with all its flaws. But I should mention that this doesn't affect the speed of the car at all. It can accelerate to amazing speeds. So be careful and try not to scare your pet with a ride rushing at full speed in his direction. And yes, with such a speed, it can go even on a simple carpet so you can arrange home races this is clearly visible on the video you don't have to find asphalt or concrete floor for them 
C. This Lexus, with simply incredible drifting qualities and control, is awaiting you. It surprised me with its maneuverability and sensitivity of control. Without skidding and braking distance, this car stops dead. You just have to give it such a signal. It seems that it can cope even with the sharpest turns and tracks without any problem. The owner of such a car will have a lot of options. It will attract not only by a cool drift, but also by the opportunity to surprise the audience with various tricks. It will accurately drive to the right place and light a match and then blow it out. In short, the scope for imagination is endless. The next Toyota is bursting into the drift battlefield like a fire-breathing dragon. Well, it is happening in the best Japanese traditions, of course. Only the fire of this model is not red, but pink. These unrealistically cool pink graffiti are so mesmerizing. Besides, it has some details that you might not notice at first. The pink rims on wheels and glass. See? The windows of the car are also pink. In general, its style is sustained to the fullest, and the technical characteristics won't let us down as well. To be honest, in childhood, when all my friends were dreaming of racing sports cars, I was dreaming of such a bright painted pickup truck. That is why I just could not ignore this model in my video. This pickup truck is distinguished not only by the fact that in real life, such cars are not intended for drifting and high-speed races, but also by its bright and sometimes even ridiculous coloring. It is painted in blue and green, but they are not half and half. The yellow stripe that separates these colors is located much to the left of the center. So perfectionists, be where this model is clearly not for you. The next car requires some skill when driving, but anyway, it will be able to delight you with its look. Do you like something variegated, bright, and eye-catching? I have found an excellent model for you. This cool blue Lexus looks amazing. I really like its white roof. It looks super harmonious, and you won't lose sight of your car while standing and controlling it. But as I've said earlier, in my opinion, this model does not stand out with some cool characteristics in terms of driving. While banking, sometimes it side slips, and it seems it just can't be build up the speed. At first glance, it seems very ordinary, but if this car were a drink, it would definitely be pomegranate juice. The movements of this Mazda are just as viscous, and the color is thick and very beautiful. Every turn of the car is incredibly smooth, which is very surprising for a drift car. After all, this model was able to combine not only a rather good speed, but also the smoothness of turns. Let it not be the fastest one, but it is bewitching for sure. The black hood and headlights look especially cool against the general background, adding another zest to this car. Let's go further. Here we meet a simply mind-blowing combination. A retro Porsche model, painted, attention, in a really super bright pink color. I wonder if this color really exists. Well, this is a very stylish item, and it drives according to its look. Even if it doesn't impress with speed, it does an excellent job with drifts. You just want to watch and control it. In general, the creators designed a very cool hybrid, which is really worth paying attention to. The Kawaii police are rushing in top gear to arrest you for such a big love for drift cars. Seriously, this model is a real police car, but it was created in tribute to the most modern Japanese trends. Not only the regular police car flashing lights are particularly striking, but also its white and pink color. These cute anime girls on the back are just impossible to miss. The upgrade of high-speed cars has been transferred to a completely different level. I really like the neon signs in the back seat of the car. They seem to give a certain charm and atmosphere to this model, and it's owner will be remembered not only for winning the race, but also for the bright look of this car. We recently had the Mark II. Now, it's the Batmobile's turn. Well, really, how else can I call this as a black as night babe? After all, it is literally all black. No graffiti or any identification marks. Even the windows seem to be tinted, although they are not. In a word, do you see a bat signal anywhere? So it's time to pick up the remote control and go chasing the bad guys. And you will have enough speed for this. Not a single opponent will leave. But keep in mind that at such breakneck speeds, you need to be more careful while controlling so that your car will not be skidded somewhere from the racing path. 
in my video, I just can't miss the king of sports cars, the Lamborghini. That's why I wanted to share with you this car full of various stickers and paintings. It has a special feature that seems interesting, but the purpose of which I can't understand. Look, there are some holes in the side windows. What do you think they are for? It seems to me they were made in order to cool the mini driver during a hot and dashing race. After all, this model gives it hot in the high speed field, just the same as the original one does. Sometimes if it enters the next corner, it seems to be alone on the racetrack. Well, this is something cool. It is a model of a top-end Mercedes in an AMG body kit. And, as you know, this package also gives better sound, some adjustments to the car settings and other goodies. The authors of the project took this into account by making the Mercedes according to all the canons of the original craftsmanship. As a result, it turned out to be an amazing monster, ready to rip everyone to shreds on drift roads. And how about plunging into the 30s of the last century, directly into the atmosphere of this American backwoods? But of course, without slowing down, this hot rod will help us with this. Important, a hot rod is an older car with serious modifications that allow it to develop excellent speed. And now you will see a small model, which is in no way inferior in its look to the original one. In my opinion, this is a very atmospheric and eye-catching car. Its details, attention to detail, and the speed keep up their end. And just look at these red barrels, secured with mini chains. Well, they are so cool. And this red Mazda completes our series of races. Its bright scarlet color literally screams and seems to symbolize the passion for driving races and drift cars. When you look at it, your blood really boils in the veins. And yes, this is definitely a worthwhile model. It is responsive to control in the hands of its owner. It practically does not skid in turns and it fits into them like a queen, as if it really feels them. I would call this Lexus an albino, as its snow white body is so striking. At first glance, even its wheels seem white, but then it turns out to be just an optical illusion as they are set very low on the body. This is what distinguishes it from the original white Lexus, which this babe repeats almost one to one on a scale of one to ten. Besides, it repeats it in many details, both in the shape of the body and in various little things like headlights or a bumper. Did I say something about interior details before? Forget it, because once you open the door and look inside this Mazda, all doubts will disappear. Just look at its illuminated dashboard. There is even a small keychain here. And what is this? A katana handle instead of a handbrake? This is a real classic of Japanese flair. I was really surprised to see it. Is this not enough? Then how about the fact that it also has headlights that rise like in the original model? And as soon as you turn it on, you will hear the purring of the motor, just like the real one has. Together with all this kit, its speed and ability to drift create an awesome combo. This car reminds me of a turtle from a fairy tale, where a hare and a turtle were competing in speed. After all, this model is just that. It is compact, like a turtle. And at first glance, it does not really differ in speed. But as you probably remember, it was the turtle who won and defeated the hare. And in this case, everything will be exactly the same. Once this car accelerates, it makes its rivals swallow the dust, leaving them far behind. Besides, it copes well with turns, almost without losing its speed. It seems to me it will show itself perfectly in skill hands. We continue the retro parade. So, this cool yellow car is now entering the stage under the bright spotlight. Its body sparkles so much that the glare almost blinds me. It seems that if you make a little more effort, then when you literally see your reflection on its hood. And it's not only the body that sparkles, but every single part does, from the bumper to the chrome wheels. By the way, this babe copes with drifting perfectly. Did I say something about the details and aesthetics? Forget about everything and just look at this beetle. Damn it, this is an incredible model. With every scratch and abrasion on the body and wheels and with different headlights, this babe looks like it is really more than a dozen years old. Even the windows on this Volkswagen seem to be covered in dust. Or maybe the glass is really dusty? Who knows? Anyway, this is my huge respect for such an incredible model. And on top of that, don't be fooled by its look. This beetle will surely beat some classic drift model on a mini racing track. The black and white GTR is the first to burst into our video, raising clouds of dust into the air at the next dashing turn. Have you seen how easily it fits into turns, even the most narrow ones? And although this babe is obviously side sliding, it perfectly copes with it. It's a pleasure to watch its pirouettes, during which this GTR turns into a black and white spot because of its speed. And its color seems to refer to police cars, which we can see in movies about racing. 
And now it's time to check out a Speedy Beast that is ready to drive not only on a perfect flat surface of the racetrack, but also on asphalt and even on a cobbled sidewalk. Besides, it is stylized as a real Mercedes. The look evokes a feeling of power and nobility, and such a car will definitely please you with both of them. Its streamlined shapes, pure black color, and white and yellow parts complete and visually complement the look of this car. The chrome-plated wheels with their highlights also catch the eye, and the number one on the side tells everyone that this car will come first to the finish line. Cool and sparkling retro cars just don't want to leave our video today. That's why I couldn't miss this amazing black Dodge. That is why you can see it now delighting us with its pirouettes and looks. And although we have a Dodge, I can't help feeling that this car was created in order to travel along the roads of America and chase evil spirits together with the younger brother. But this time, you can do all this with crazy drifting stunts. Will you agree to go for such a trip? Well, that's all friends. Don't forget to subscribe to the channel, leave your like, and goodbye for now.